unroll and place the mat on a flat and even surface that is clear of debris. Slide the mat against the bottom border wall and align it centrally. When table size and mat placement are correct, the areas to the left, right, and top of the mat should match those shown. Teams can practice without an official table or border walls, but competitions will be held on an official table in a tournament setup. Please practice with this in mind, and remember to mark out the space needed for home on each side of the mat when practicing without a table. Official table building instructions and guidance on how to use the mat on the floor can be found on the Season Resources page. In competitions, remember that volunteers work hard to get the fields just right. But you should expect and design for rare imperfections, such as bumps under the mat or changes in light. You will find sheets of dual lock squares in the challenge set to secure the mission models in place. Dual lock is a critical part of the field setup process. The squares on the mat with the X inside show where to apply the dual lock. Next, we will demonstrate how to apply the dual lock. When pressing down on a model, be sure to press on its base and avoid pressing from higher up. To remove the model from the mat, lift it from its base to separate the dual lock. Now, we will show you how to place and position each model in the field setup position. This should be checked at the start of each match. Locate the model, as well as all relevant loose parts. Align the base of the model to the matte wireframe and engage the dual lock. Before each match, teams and referees should make sure the model is in its correct setup position and that the dual lock is pressed down. Mission 3 spans both fields. The larger part of the mission model should align to the mat wireframe. In tournament setup, the smaller part should be placed where it lands on the opposing field within the range marked on the mat. When practicing, you can separate the model and rest the minecart as shown.
Your field is now set up and you are ready to play the first Lego League robot game. Remember to read the robot game rulebook and to check for any updates during the season. A video that describes mission scoring requirements can be found on the season resources page. Good luck, teams!